It is just 4 7 here. Figured it out. We can't go through that way. We have to go through a different way. There's stairs up. Kind of off to the side a little bit. I'll show you that real quick here, actually. So this is where it says exit right here. So, like, this is the room with the accessible door. Or terminal and door. So, we're going to have to uh, should we go this way and see if we can't figure it out. Because this way I haven't been yet. There were some live yos. Ah, uh, yes. We have a terminal here. Power elevator? Uh. Neat. I'll leave that on. It's cool. Oh, I thought it was mag locked. Well, yes, I'll pick the lock. Of course. What do you expect? Oh, shit. Nice. Hopefully, I'll get to start uh, <clears throat> doing the um, Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raider game soon. It, it's very good. As, as far as I've played it anyway, it's very, very good. I do plan on recording it. Haven't had the chance to yet. Uh, I've played about an hour or two of it. And then, obviously, went back to Fallout. Going up. Going up. Well, that's weird. Because... So. How very interesting. Okay. Sure. Um, this is not the way to go, I don't believe. Hey, Hancock. What's up, buddy? Sorry. So maybe I'm wrong, and I don't know. Ugh. Hold on. Won't take but a second, guys. <laughs> One fifty five. We're looking at into the sewer. Lexington is a tough place to bloody bloody blue. What the hell? Oh, right. Department X R and D room. Do I need to command him somehow? Is that the way that that works? That's really frustrating. Because he won't. He won't pick the lock. Arrgh. Hey, if we make it out of here alive, I guarantee you'll live. Okay. That's not good. Man. Terminal's gotta be somewhere. Terminal somewhere. Hmm. 
Right. Okay then. A terminal password somewhere? Maybe I'm not uh, not seeing it anywhere. Security gate. Oh yeah. No such luck there. I hope this isn't a glitch and I'm just like screwed. Quick save. And we'll do a quick load. What? Yeah. Was that eight minutes ago? No, we're good. The Miss Nanny Robot was created by General Atomics International as the female equivalent of the Mr. Handy. As such, it carries similar built-in... Okay. <sighs> so, there you go. If it, if it freezes up, it doesn't work out for you. Save and load. Well, that's a pretty slick door, man. That is a cool looking gun. Brad Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. Okay. Nice. Carrington's prototype. Whatever that is. It. It is, yeah. Well, it's already powered, actually. So, yeah, let's go. Whew. And once we're in, we have... Uh, <clears throat> once we get into the, uh, to the railroad, we have a pretty specific... Coming in, Hancock? Yeah, we'll see you later. There's a miscellaneous quest that you get from someone named Pam, I believe. It is called. You know, I say that. No, it's a Radiant Quest. Huh. I did not expect that. It's called Jackpot. That indicated location. Speak to Pam, P A M, presumably one of the synths at the railroad HQ. Good. I want it. I want it for myself. <clears throat> to be able to make ballistic weave. You split up? That's fine. I, mean, I don't have any problem with that. Oh. I'll 
very, very interesting. I didn't kill all these years. I don't think so, anyway. Someone did. North Church. We go ahead and fast travel because we're trying to get to, to speaking with Pam as soon as possible. Because apparently, I was reading on some of the forums, uh, the Ballistic Weave is just amazing. And you can do your sort of standard clothing. Clothing that doesn't count as armor. can upgrade it with Ballistic Weave so you can wear like normal clothes and have badass AC, which is super cool. Look, it's my little poopy. Little shit poopy. Dog meat. Why don't we can fuck some of those up though, man. You let it happen. A bit moist out and about. I didn't think I would really like the uh, power armor HUD. It's growing on me though. It's it's definitely definitely takes a little getting used to. Jeez. I don't remember where to go to get to this place. Oh, there it is. Butterflies in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Let's take a look. It's it in the book. The red rainbow. Where? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. The. Jeez. Stupid labyrinthian crap. There we go. Yay! Really is a lost we made a good team. The best. See you soon. And the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? <laughs> Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Not really. I'm in power armor. Single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true, and then some. A full hundred. I <laughs> can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting nice. Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane well, yeah. to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Thank you. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. I like Desdemona. I to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code oh, that's cool. I get to make my own code name. It's yours. Oh, dang. Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Bullseye. Call me Bullseye. Well, from what Deacon says of your fighting skills, Bullseye seems apt. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. I like it. his prototype <laughs> and see if you can repair pants. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. Oh, Hex, yeah, dude. Okay. We're out of time for this one. So we'll have to uh, take care of that in, in the next video.